Hi, my name is Vinik, and uh, my partner was Ravi Kotari, and this is our final project for game programming. So what we built was a game called Tanks. Um, it's very similar to the tanks that you played in uh, We Play. Um, we've kind of taken that 2D game and made it into a 3D version. So let's get right into it. So use the arrow keys to control the tank. You are the green tank, and you want to shoot all the red tanks in the game. Um, to shoot, you press the space bar to fire a bullet, and you also have a missile, uh, which you can pre use by pressing the C, and that will shoot a missile. Uh, missiles are direct contact without any sort of ricochet, um, and missiles can also destroy wooden blocks that you see here um, to kind of clear up your path as you go. Um, uh, the enemy tanks kind of move towards you. Uh, we kind of did this with a uh, nav mesh, and uh, uh, they also are smart enough to uh, calculate ricochet shots. So they, if they can fire straight at you, they, they will. But if they can calculate a bounce shot like this one just did now, it will also uh, use the bounce shot to hit you as well. Um, so that's kind of how the AI, the AI of the, uh, the enemy tanks works. Uh, over up in the left corner, this uh, top green uh, represents the number of lives you currently have remaining. Um, you can play on the zero with life, so it's kind of technically like four tries before you die. And uh, when you press C, that represents the number of rockets you currently have. Uh, over in the right hand side is uh, a top level view, kind of like a mini map, uh, that will uh, show the gameplay from a like a uh, top perspective. And this kind of makes it easier to uh, like calculate bounce shots and see uh, how you can uh, aim your bullets. So it makes the gameplay a little bit more interesting and like is pretty useful in my opinion. Uh, uh, so I'll let myself die on this next level or well, I probably will die. This level is pretty hard. Um, and then I'll go through each of the levels. Nah, I, just, I just killed myself. So another thing to notice there, um, you can kill yourself if you game in full, uh, the way it was meant to be played. Uh, so let's get into it. So this way you can see all the levels we've created. They total five levels, so the maximum amount of tanks you can destroy um, is 15. Uh, we kind of didn't make like a win game sort of thing because uh, we hope to like keep working on this in the future and uh, expand the amount of levels that we create. Uh, so you'll see that at the end. I think a really important thing to use during gameplay is the minimap. It definitely helps make um, calculating bounce shots a lot easier. But there may be multiple strategies. We actually have let our friends try this game as well. And they like said it's pretty engaging, keeps them on their feet. Uh, they got frustrated, they would keep trying over and over again. So uh, that was really awesome to see. Um, Alright, so this is the final level. Uh, another thing that I noticed, or you'll notice, is uh, the, the enemies won't really start moving towards you until you start moving. So if in the very beginning, if you can shoot all the tanks from your uh, current position... Uh, oh, got me there. Um, so if I stay still, the tanks will only start moving until I moved. Uh, so that was interesting. Oh shoot. I got these last two guys.
and there you go. So that's our game. And it takes this final screen. Uh, so like I said in the beginning, uh, normally it would say you win on the screen, but uh, since we want to keep expanding the number of levels, we decided to leave that part out until we uh, decide to actually end the game.